This video goes into the messaging options you now have within a PTD group. This is where there's quite a lot of options and you have an awful lot of power to save yourself a lot of time and share messages with lots and lots of people at the same time. So the first option is you can have a group chat and you do that by clicking on the messages. And this would be a group chat in the same way that you would have in a Slack group or similar to a Facebook group as well. So everyone can chat together within the app and everybody in the group or your clients and you communicate together. And you do that by turning on the chat of a group in here. Now, this one is off and they are all off by default. This one is on and you just change it by clicking on that particular group and it will turn it on and off. So that is group chat options. If you go in here, you can start a chat and talk to everybody within the group and they will be able to chat back to you from inside the app and inside the software. If we close this down and then come into the group dashboard, there are also options to schedule chat and to send messages to individual members within the group by using the group dashboard. So that means you can send it straight into their individual account. It's not part of a group chat. It's something that goes to each individual client, each one-to-one -one client. They can either reply to it or they cannot reply to it depending on your settings. So I will show you that right now. So we'll go into the group and click on messaging. This brings you into the messaging center where you can still send, schedule and set up repeated text messages emails and in-app messages. So if we click on the messenger, it gives you a few more options within the group. So you can send a one-off message. Now this will send messages into the individual accounts of all group members. So rather than starting a group chat and letting them know they're all part of a group and letting them talk as a group, this sends the message into the app of every single member in the group, but into their individual accounts and into their individual messages. You can send either a written message, a photograph or a video, and you can also send links in there as well. Now, whether they can reply or not will depend on their settings inside the messaging. So if you click on messages, you'll see that anyone with green will be able to reply because that's the way you've set them up as a client. And anyone with it gray will not be able to reply to these messages because that is how you have set them up as a client. You can change any clients if you wish to just by clicking on that and change them back by clicking again. So whatever messages you send from here, go into the account of every single individual group member and whether they can reply or not depends on the settings that you've set up for them inside the messenger. So it all links up really, really nicely. And when you've written your message, you can send it off. The other options you have got inside the messenger column are to set repeated and scheduled messages. So repeated would be something that you can send every day or every week, the same message to go out and scheduled. You can choose a specific time and date that it will go. Now with these ones, you have the option to either send to each individual group member as an individual or to start a particular group conversation. So that's entirely up to you, which option you choose. You can then schedule it to go on a certain date or a certain number of days after joining. So if you're setting up a challenge or something like that, then you might want to do days after joining so that you can repeat the challenge. Once again, you have written options, you have photo options and you have video options. You send that message and it will go on the scheduled time and date to either each individual member of the group or into a group conversation. So in group conversation, everyone can join the chat. Each, each individual group member, it will be the same as the one-off message. So some will be able to reply if you want them to and others won't if you don't want them to. So there's an awful lot of flexibility and an awful lot of power on what you do with the instant messenger combined with the messaging center inside PT Distinction. And you can communicate very quickly, very easily with lots and lots of clients and you can do it in a way that suits you and suits your systems. Now, I would recommend that if you run free trials, you do not turn on chat for individuals or for the group. 
because that will be very, very time consuming. And what you want with free trials is to bring in lots of people. And that way you can schedule lots and lots of good messages to go out to them, but not have to worry about always responding. If you run challenges, it could be a good idea to have the group chat on and have a good group community with it, but I would trial it and see how it works. For everything else, I think it's worth doing it on an individual basis for each client. So you can set up the messages to go out and with some clients on probably more high-end packages, you would have the chat turned on and with others, you would have just the one-way messaging so that they can see what you're saying, they can get your message, but they don't have an option to reply and they will not know that you've turned off the option to reply. They just see the message and get the picture or the video or the link that you've given them.